G'day, Nate. Let's have a look at this fossil, hey? So this, this is a yeah. This is a copy of a bit of, of fossil that's been found in Victoria. It's a perfect replica of the slab Please that was found in Mansfield. Yeah. Um, you can really to study these fossil trackways, you really have to have low light. But I'm sure when you see them on the uh, photographs that we've taken with enhanced uh, scanning, mm. you'll see the, the really clear trackways. But the most important thing about these is that some of them have the remains of claws. You can see scratch marks uh, here on this one here, these long uh, vertical sort of marks, mm. and others have like hooked claws. So it basically tells us that these things were reptiles. They weren't early amphibians. And it's 35 to 40 million years older than the oldest record in the world. Okay, so take us, take us all the way back. How was this discovery made? Well, two locals up there, uh, Craig Urie and John Eason, um, have been fired up because I gave a talk at Mansfield about 12 years ago and took some of the locals fossil hunting. And they've been going back ever since and looking for fossils. Mm -hmm. And they found this a couple of years ago and uh, sent the slab to me to study at Flinders University with, with my team there. Um, Alice Clement and Aaron Caymans, who's an expert in trackways. And we also involved a team from Uppsala University who are experts on early trackways and tetrapods. So we got this amazing discovery. We thought they were amphibians, but they ended up having claws. So they're reptiles. So it not only pushes back the potential origin of reptiles by 35 to 40 million years, but it also positions it in Australia or the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana. So it's another like world first for Australia. That is so incredible. How did you date these? Well, they're dated based on the fossil assemblages in the rock, which have fairly narrow age ranges in other parts of the world and Australia, plus also radiometric dates on volcanics above and below the sequence. Um, so there's geological context there that gives us a fairly precise range from about 350 to 359 million years. And we think it's somewhere in the middle because it's about the middle of the sequence. So what did it look like when that those creatures were running over that little bit of ground? Well, we made a little video of it that you've been showing all morning. Yeah. We think it was a lizard-like creature. Uh, we can only guess because similar claw marks and hand and foot marks have been studied in North America and Europe that have skeletons in the same deposits that show what the hands and feet look like and what the whole animal look like. Is, is there a chance that this is something that's not a reptile or is that a hard percent where we are guaranteed? We're calling it an amniote, which is the group that reptiles, birds and mammals belong to, mm. but the reptiles are the earliest group of amniotes. So we're saying it is a kind of reptile. It's just that, that technically we can't say it's definitely a reptile unless we have the whole skeleton. Right, right. How big was this thing? Probably about 80 centimetres long with about a hip height of about 17 centimetres, like a short stubby goanna. So if we've pushed it back with these footprints 40 million years, yep. could we be potentially looking at pushing it even further back with more discoveries? Yes, but even more important, Nate, is the fact that if you push the origin of reptiles back by that much, then the whole evolutionary sequence of things before them, like early amphibians, mm. probably evolved much earlier in time. So it's like pushing the whole sequence of evolution back and also showing that there was rapid bursts of evolution to give rise to reptiles. Essentially, life was just gagging to get out and get going. Totally. It was a really weird alien world in the Carboniferous, giant forests 30 metres high, huge insects and millipedes, 30% oxygen in the atmosphere, mm. lots of fires. Imagine those. An exciting time to be alive. Incredible. Um, I, I understand you're going to be speaking with Robin Williams this weekend on the Science Show. Yes. You'll be able to give a lot more detail. Than a lot more Frankie. detail with that chat with Robin, absolutely. I will be listening. Thank you so much for coming in and, and for bringing us this incredible fossil. I'm, I'm just so excited. Thank you, Nate. It's my pleasure to be here.